My name is Jimmy. I've received a tip off that Jagex is going through with some kind of top secret project. I don't know what it is. All I know is that I need to have some kind of server ready. So ASAT and I have decided to host a show where players can pitch their ideas to us to see if we'll invest. This is Shark Bank. Not to get ahead of ourselves, but there's a chance this first guy's the best pitch we get all day. Yeah, this is the idea guy. This player is determined to change everything again. Hey guys, uh, how's it going? So I had a Is he really talking to us? Today. I decided, uh, Dude, I think he's really trying to pitch from back there. Are you guys saying hey, something? Hey, can you come closer to us, Hello? please? Move up. Did you, say, did you say closer or further? There's no world in which I said further. Please move closer to us. They don't even sound alike. Come here. Is this better? You're usually really smart about this stuff. Yes, this is better. Much better. I have a really good idea today. Can you guys sit down at all? Like, is it possible for you guys to, to sit down? We are sitting. Both of us are sitting. We only sit on the show. I'm a little nervous. Okay. That's fine. No, I get that. I'm excited. You've, you've had many ideas that have quite literally changed the landscape of this entire game. So, I mean, I'm, yeah, right. I might be more nervous than you are right now because this could yeah. change everything for us. I mean, we've oh, been waiting for that's this. That's sweet of you. Ready to hear what you have to say. How much do people usually ask for, for like, for like funding? Like, what did the last guy ask for? How is that remotely relevant? No, 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 no. It's not about anyone else. This is about you. How much are you guys worth? Like in game, maybe like how much money do you guys have? You know, you're supposed to be pitching something to us. Imagine this. You spawn into your favorite game, Old School RuneScape. I just got goosebumps. And you are only allowed to be in Mauritania. So far, so good. Keep going. The entire right side of the map, there's like that swamp area, there's like Canifus, and you have like like barrows over there. Like you right. cannot leave that area. I got that part. Uh, right. What do you think? So like a twist to that. Um, you're also bald. Every character will be bald. Bald. Is there a reason for that? Or does that affect your gameplay? Um. So your idea is lock to Mauritania and then hair. No hair. No hair, right? I thought you had something that you've been waiting to reveal for a long time. Guys. This idea sucks. You think that's it? You think I would just come here and say lock people no, to Mauritania no, no, and make yeah, them bald? My bad, okay, all right. Now I'm not worried. Go ahead. You're locked in Mauritania. You're bald. But what if you also only had one HP? You go into the swamp and a snail sees you. One hit and you're done. Like it it adds a lot of like um help me out here, guys. Yes, yeah, this is nightmare mode. So these are two things you've done and everyone's watched you suffer through. This is Swamp Lennox plus nightmare mode. What's that? I think I'd eat actual rocks before playing the game how you play it, so I'm out. I think I'm out. Now, a player that wants to take Fashionscape to a new level. Hi Sharks, today I'm asking for 30 billion GP for 50% stake in my Dress to Impress server. Have you ever thought about what goal every RuneScape player has in common? Drowning out reality. Escaping their horrible lives. Forgetting their responsibilities. Wasting as much time on Earth as possible. That's not really what I was going for, but sure. Alright, sorry. The biggest goal everyone has is fashion. People spend thousands of hours grinding for swords, hats, all kinds of different outfits. But what if you could skip that grind and just go straight to the outfits and showing off in front of people? That devalues the outfit. The thousand hours makes it meaningful. It won't devalue it because you're going to be judged by other people on how cool your outfit is. Right. So it's just a never-ending fashionscape contest? Everyone gets to choose from the same pool of items, and then at the end of the round, let's say after five minutes of dressing up, everyone gets to vote on everyone else's characters. Sounds complicated. I would just vote for myself, so... I would vote for you too. Can't vote for yourself. Every round there's a theme. Like one theme could be ketchup and mustard. One theme could be gnome child. Ketchup and mustard. Is there a reason that you've chosen yeah. ketchup and mustard or? <laughs> it's a weird color scheme. I agree. It's a weird color scheme. It's a scheme. weird color scheme. Those are good colors. It's an unflattering way to describe them, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> it's just cutting out all the unnecessary parts of RuneScape and focusing on the important things, which is looking cool. Some of the most fun I've had was hosting a Fashionscape contest. Everyone loved it. But during that contest, I learned something about myself, and that's that I can't handle secondhand embarrassment. I can't do it. Thinking about someone wearing a terrible outfit and making everyone stare at them, that's my worst nightmare. I can't risk that happening. And for that reason, I'm out. Okay. You still got another shark, don't you worry. I gotta hand it to you. You and your business partner, you did a great job. I think you're playing 5D chess. 
success in a 2D checkers market. I don't know much about it. I don't want to get my hands dirty in a field that I'm not experienced with. And for that reason, I'm out. You have a really good idea here. I'm going to give you congratulations because I mean, that's a, yeah. that's a great That's so rare for idea. him. He says that once a year. Once a year, max. Really? Yeah. That's almost just as good as an investment. I'm going to save my congratulations. I'll give you a job well done. I'll give you a little gold star. A gold star. Great pitch. Up next, a PKer that could purge any other ideas. Hey Sharks, today I want to pitch to you the only server that you will ever need, a purge server. I'm looking for an investment of 350 million GP to make this dream a reality. Okay. The server behaves like normal, but one night a week, PvP is enabled everywhere and rare drops are guaranteed from every single boss. This will mix the thrill of PvP with the excitement of PvM, kind of like dead man mode, but in a much better way. Dying during the purge results in you losing your entire battle. Bank. My entire bank? I don't like that. If you get a rare drop, you cannot log out for 30 minutes upon looting this drop. Okay. A lot of players aren't really a big fan of the whole, you know, losing my whole bank when I die thing. Yeah. I'm not seeing a lot of promise here. There are hundreds of people that play dead man mode. So there's people into it. Yeah. So we're looking at a market of potentially dozens of people. Hundreds. Okay. Hundreds at best. If you die during this purge, you also lose your entire bank on the main game. And it just is funneled directly into you, the investor's bank account. We get all their items on the main game if they die in our server. All their items on the main game. You think people will agree to that? If they don't read the terms and conditions. Yeah, essentially, you're attempting to prey on the player base. Yeah. And you do realize that this show is being broadcast publicly to many people, including most of the people that would be playing the server, and they'll be fully aware of the scam that you're pitching, correct? I'm going to be looking for 57 billion GP make this happen. I, I have 350 written down here. 350M right here on the paper. No, and I, and I get that. I, I probably did say that, but I realized actually halfway through that I'm going to need a little bit more. 57 billion GP. For what equity? 10% equity. 10% equity. You're valuing this idea at 5.7 trill, which is more than the GDP of Gilanor. That's right. Your numbers are psychotic. I know what I'm worth. I don't like your idea. I don't get it, but I like you and I like what you're thinking, so I'm going to make you an offer. Okay. I'm going to offer you one bill and 20 uncharged glories and i want 50 percent 20 uncharged can i charge them you can do whatever you want with the glories they're in your custody what a counter 10 billion gp and five glories jim what do you think that's not a good deal is it no this is a good deal it was a bad deal when he walked in that in the door listen i'm willing to go in with my partner jim here who's an expert in these sort of purged things right jim so you're an expert I'm an expert in these purge things. We're going to offer you three bill and four amulets of power because we bring a lot to the table. You bring a lot to the We're table. We're business experts. We know a lot about purges and taking money from players. Three bill. We have a deal. Do we have three bill? I mean, I don't have three bill. I mean, I don't. Do you know anyone that has three bill that you're close with? He's standing in front of us. I said we give him three bill. We figure this shit out later. All right. You've got yourself a deal. Oh, thank you so much for your time, gentlemen. We're going to make a lot of money together. Finally, a player that's going to bring true competition to Gilano. Hey Sharks, my name is Soup. I'm the founder, creator, producer, CEO, and visionary behind the hit series Love Island RuneScape. Well today, I have an idea for a brand new show that will take place on a brand new server, the Gilanor game server. I'm seeking a 65 billion GP investment in exchange for 5% returns on every game played in the server. How are you liking it so far? Wow. Wow, that was... This guy actually has like a real normal idea. 65 billion GP investment. Is that something you guys would be up for don't, before I even talk about the idea? Don't worry about that. Let's hear the idea. Don't think about that. Okay, money doesn't matter. The concept is simple. 15 players pay 1 million GP each to spawn into a server and have to compete in a series of RuneScape minigames. After every minigame is finished, two players get eliminated until only one player is left. The winner receives 13.5 million GP. You guys get 750 of that since you're getting 5% returns and I'm getting 750k of that as well because I'm broke. This means your initial investment of 65 billion GP will pay off after only 86,666.6, repeating of course, games. An absolute steal. So sharks, are you ready to dive headfirst into this idea with me and then run and escape with some money? Wow. Wow. I'm in awe about how good that sounded. I've been thinking about this for years. I could tell. This is yeah. exactly what we were looking for. I'm a businessman. I'm here to make deals. All right, you know, let's talk to this guy in business terms. Sure. What are your EBITDA margins? Listen, when I think about 
What was your question again? What are your EBITDA margins? My evened up margins. Uh, EBITDA, E-B-I-T-D-A. I have no idea what that means. Me neither. Let's tone it down a bit. So how many of these games do you have planned? I have a whole portfolio of challenge ideas that are perfect for this. Games that everybody loves to play, has a blast playing, and have a chance to make money doing it. That does sound pretty enticing. Here's the thing. You're on that side, and we're on this side, mm -hmm. and I just kind of feel threatened at this point because yeah. that was such a good pitch that I feel like you're going to take take advantage of us at some point in this whole transaction. So I, I don't know if I feel entirely comfortable working with you after seeing the kind of guy that you are prepared and whatnot. You seem dishonest. Do I seem like a trustworthy guy? No. No, not, not at all You seem like right a now. snake in the grass. What about me doesn't seem trustworthy? How good you are at this. You're smooth talker. You're smooth talker. No. It seems like you get what you want. Guys, I've been preparing for this for two years. Listen, years. Which this is why you all doing this? I've wanted. Why are you doing this? Would you rather trust somebody who comes in here with no plan or somebody who comes in here with a plan, with a plan that will make you guys money? I don't trust anyone. I don't trust you in particular. For that reason, I'm out. Get me out. Yeah, you gotta go. I'm out. Okay, who's up next? Oh, that's it. That's it? What do you mean that's, that's it? That, yeah. What do you mean that's it? There was four? I thought we had hundreds. Four is actually a lot for a show like this. What are we gonna, we don't have a server. I feel pretty good. Well, I don't feel very good. I feel like we got nothing out of that and this has all been a giant waste of time and money probably. Wait a second. What? Jim, I think we have a server. I'm not doing the purge server, dude. I can't. No, I'm no, not... no, Jim. It's been right here the whole time. Right here? What do you mean? It's been right here in front of us the whole time. 